The intense, authentic, tactical first-person SWAT game Ready or Not, it's marking its 1.0 release with a massive content update. The 1.0 release includes new levels, weapons, customization, overhauled squad-made AI, sound management system, and even a brand new immersive commander mode. Stay on me, right with you. Additionally, there's overhauls to existing levels, visual effects, UI, and much more. I want to see hands. So, whether you're a rookie or a Los Sueños PD veteran, here are nine things you need to know before diving into Ready or Not. Immerse yourself in an all-new single-player experience, Commander Mode. Recruit and manage your LSPD SWAT team and embark on a journey that takes your elite tactical unit across every district of Los Sueños through eight new levels and fresh overhauls to existing levels. As their leader, you'll need to keep your cool during complex breaches, hostage situations, and if push comes to shove, deadly shootouts. Play your cards right and you and everyone involved will make it out alive, unharmed, mentally and physically. Your squad grows alongside you with successful missions, allowing for squad trait compositions that benefit your whole squad. But one wrong move can leave a fellow squad mate with trauma that leaves them in an unstable condition, making them unfit for duty. Or worse yet, an LSPD casualty in the line of duty means your beloved squad mate is gone for good. Officer down, requesting trailer. So play smart. Speaking of which, above all, be prepared for anything. Even if the briefing for a mission makes it sound like there may only be one hostile in the area, always be prepared for more resistance than that. You can sometimes stumble across other illegal activities in the area and the people responsible may open fire as soon as you show up, even if you didn't know they would be there. With this in mind, approach new rooms and open areas with caution at all times to avoid being killed before you have the time to react. Put your hands up. Ammo management is vital to successful missions. Pressing reload will swap magazines, but keep in mind that unlike many other shooters, each magazine will retain the ammunition that it had in it, rather than refilling the mag. This means that pressing R will reload your gun even if it has full ammo by ensuring there is one extra round in the chamber. You could also end up swapping back to a half-empty or mostly empty mag if you reload frequently. If you're unsure about your ammo count, hold R instead of pressing it to check the levels on all your magazines. You can also double tap R to discard your current mag for a quick reload. This is ideal to do when your mag runs empty so that you don't swap to them later in the heat of combat. Your goal in Ready or Not is to control the situations you're in with as few casualties as possible. That means you need to watch out for civilians and you also need to try to pacify assailants without opening fire. You can press F to yell for compliance at people, which can sometimes be enough to defuse a situation. Down on your knees, hands up. But if someone is failing to comply with commands, you have the option to melee them with B or carefully use an abundance of less lethal equipment following proper use of force. This can be a deciding factor that stops a firefight from starting if you're fast enough. Roger, entry team, great work, keep going. There are a number of mechanics that aren't introduced to you in the tutorial, such as using the ability to lean, which is useful for peeking around corners without exposing yourself to danger. You can open up the controls menu to get an idea for some of the things you may not have known about, but some standouts that we noticed are leaning left and right with Q and E respectively, free leaning further with movement keys while holding Alt, activating your night vision goggles, if you have them equipped, with N, and swapping ammo types with I if you're carrying different types. On me, move. On you. You can play Ready or Not with your friends in multiplayer, or you can play in single player with a squad of AI teammates. Their AI has been completely overhauled in the latest update for the game. So if you played the game before and weren't impressed with what you saw, it might be worth giving your team another shot. Your squad is made up of four people, divided into two groups of two, red team and blue team. Team, you are clear to clear. The Confirmed. You can use the command menu to control your squad contextually depending on where you're aiming and have your team do things like open locked doors, Red team. clear rooms, or hold locations. Stop. Ready when you are. Your team will also do things automatically, like restrain civilians and bag evidence if they come across any. Talk. Collecting evidence. If you plan on playing many missions in single player, it's worth familiarizing yourself with the command menu options, so you can use them effectively in the heat of the moment. Split the door. 
Ready. A common tactic for effectively utilizing the whole squad is to stack up each team at a different entrance of the same building. Then, you can queue up breach and clear commands and execute the commands at the same time to have them move in and surprise any attackers inside. Just keep in mind that if you've already been seen or heard by the people inside the building, they may come out to meet you while you set this maneuver up. So don't spend too much time in the menus once you've been found. When you press tab, you bring up a chest-mounted tactical tablet with mission and squad info on it. At first glance, this is just a neat in-game way to track your objectives for a mission, but this tablet offers more intel than that. Hold tab to full screen this window and navigate the tablet. Here, you can find a map of the buildings you're about to enter, as well as a full brief for the mission, information on known subjects, and any other media. You can also open this menu after selecting a mission in the headquarters to get a better idea of what you're in for before you set out. Something else you can access from your tablet is the crew menu. This menu shows you a summary of your team and gives you the chance to swap team members out. This is important to do regularly as it allows you to unlock each officer's unique traits which benefit you and your whole squad. These traits can be things like increasing the duration of stun grenade effects or having a medic on the team revive an incapacitated officer once per mission. Cycling officers out also allows you to give officers a rest if their mental status is under strain, which will keep them from resigning for being too stressed out. Make sure you bring the appropriate gear to each mission. Otherwise, this can lead to scenarios where you're storming a house in the middle of the night, but no one on your squad brought night vision goggles or a flashlight. Try to observe each mission from the briefing desk or in the brief menu on your tablet to get an idea for what scenarios you should prepare for. Hands on your head, now! Now that you've been briefed, it's up to you to lead your squad and prevent the drastic matters in Los Sueños from getting even worse. Hands up! I give up. Count on the ground. Figure up for the challenge, Ready or Not is available now on Steam. And for more on all things Ready or Not, stay tuned to IGN.com.